Hey guys, uh, my name is Vijay Kumar Waka. I'm working as Senior Solution Consultant in Episero. Okay, so today uh, in this session, let us see uh, how to send email alerts whenever an application is deployed successfully to Cloud Hub and whenever the deployment of the same application failed. Okay, so let us see how to send email alerts in these two scenarios. Okay, so this is very simple. Okay, so but uh, still uh, if you are new or uh, if you haven't created any alerts so far, so this will be very useful. Okay, so yeah, we create alerts to notify uh, some set of people uh, when some event happens right in the cloud hub environment particularly in the runtime manager. So the alerts what we are discussing right now they're under runtime manager. So they only take care of uh, runtime manager events. Okay yeah so so here we have the alert section right okay so yeah this thing uh, we have already discussed okay yeah so that thing you can check in uh, one of my videos uh, which I have created on the same thing uh, with with this name custom application notification okay so you can check this video if you want yeah but uh, in this session today, we'll be discussing uh, about these two. I mean, if I show you, um, we have uh, different conditions, right? So we'll be discussing about deployment success and deployment failed. Okay. So this you can practice just for fun. Okay. Yeah. So these are the two scenarios we'll be going through in this session. Okay. Yeah. So. I have created a very simple application uh, here the scheduler is frequency was set as uh, 10 seconds it's it's a yeah it's a normal frequency it's not a cron expression okay and uh, here in the transform message I was setting it to uh, I mean I have created a JSON object uh, where key is message and uh, value is hello world okay and you see here I am printing the same thing the payload okay so whenever so for every 10 seconds it will print the payload in the logs okay this is the expectation right so if you deploy yeah it is already deployed okay so yeah it is printing uh, the payload in the console right so just let me clear this now um, yeah so let us talk about these two alerts which we have already created okay so i have created for for both the conditions uh, which we have seen a few minutes back that is deployment success and deployment failed i have created two different alerts here okay so one is deployment uh, failure alert the other one is success alert so you just click you have to click on this create alert uh, plus button and you have to name you have to put some name here okay and uh, you have to choose the CVRT level whether it is critical or just a warning or an info so for example uh, if it is if the deployment is success in that case we ha we have to set it as info right it is just an info we are sharing to the intended party okay but if it is something like deployment failed so that means in that scenario we have to choose CVRT level as critical right so yeah so that is the re reason I mean I have selected uh, deployment success alert as info and deployment failure alert as critical in the CVRT section okay now uh, in the source you have to choose applications because uh, for now we are creating an alerts okay for applications right yeah so you have to choose alerts sorry applications and um, in the application type we have two options for now okay one uh, so as we are uh, creating alerts for the applications that are deployed in cloud hub okay we have to choose this option and you see here we can choose single app as well or uh, uh, I mean multiple apps as well like two or three or if if the applications are more than two or three or if you want to set create an alert for all the applications then you can choose 
something like all applications okay so here in, in this runtime manager uh, we have two applications and also by default we'll get this option okay if at all if any applications are there so i'm choosing this okay so that will be applicable for all the applications so so this particular um, email alert will be triggered if uh, whatever the i mean all the applications uh, that you are deploying to the cloud hub runtime manager okay yeah so the condition is deployment success and you see here uh, subject and message we cannot edit because it is a trial account actually okay so we cannot edit it we cannot edit any of these two okay yeah and uh, recipients uh, you can choose so as it is a trial account i have to choose myself right so that is what i have uh, done okay so you just have to type it here and it will give the suggestions as i have already added okay it is not showing yeah so if i click this and if i search for my my contact yeah so this has given my name okay and you have to just click on submit so that is how you can create an alert for this condition deployment success the same way you can create an alert for deployment failure as well only thing is i have changed the condition as deployment failed and you see the name is different and the severity level is critical okay because as soon as they see the email alert they should get uh, i mean by seeing the email subject itself they will understand uh, if it is a critical email alert or uh, it is an email alert uh, just to i mean was intended uh, just to share it as an info actually okay so deployment success it is an info that that is how we have set and if deployment has failed we have set the severity level as critical okay yeah so we are uh, done with discussing about these two alerts okay yeah so here also we cannot uh, uh, edit the subject and message yeah the same thing okay only thing is that uh, this is meant for uh, this will be triggered when when any deployment uh, succeeds and this will trigger when any of the deployments fail okay yeah so uh, this is already uh, deployed to local okay successfully right so let me deploy this once again okay so just right click on this uh, project go to any point platform and deploy to cloud hub okay so this will take some time uh, i'll pause my video okay and i'll resume uh, the video uh, once it is uh, once it has uh, successfully deployed for now you see uh, let me refresh this it is already failed right yeah so this is this particular deployment has already failed okay and the time is uh, 247 okay now what i'll do i'll deploy this it will succeed okay and i'll pause the video for a few seconds okay so let me click on deploy yes so you see here uh, it is deploying this application with the same name okay to cloud hub let me close this window we can close this actually close it now you see here it is uh, updating this application okay the status of it so if you click here go to logs we can see uh, whether the worker has uh, started or not and uh, the application has been started successfully or not okay yeah we we can see that uh, in a step-by-step -step manner in these logs okay yeah you see here your application has started successfully so that means the deployment has been succeeded okay now you see here uh, the count is eight to uh, double double eight double two okay so um, as soon as it finds that uh, the deployment has been succeeded it should send one more email so you see here already we could see one email 
at this time okay so we'll see one more email uh, with uh, info deployment success okay let us see it takes some time because it is still um, I mean processing right it is uh, trying to finish up the the remaining things okay yes guys if you see here um, this application has been deployed successfully okay and you see uh, we got an email alert right info deployment success if I click this this is how it's going to be this is how uh, it sends an email uh, with this information okay so this is fixed actually because uh, we have generated this email alert from the trial account right if it is uh, licensed okay then you can edit the uh, you can edit this uh, description within the alert actually okay you can edit this yeah so this is how um, you know you'll receive an email when your deployment succeeds okay and you see this is uh, it has given the link of uh, the cloud hub uh, runtime managers uh, thing I mean so where you can access this application if you click on that uh, link uh, you'll be able to see the runtime manager interface view okay so this got deployed successfully yeah correct now let us try to understand i mean see um, i mean how can we achieve this uh, this kind of uh, email alert when an uh, deployment uh, will be failing okay but I'm just wondering why the schedule is not working okay yeah so you see here the schedule I mean it is not printing the um, I mean logger values right so yeah previously I have disabled it you know we can enable these things we can have the control on the scheduler actually so that is the one advantage so once you deploy an application uh, which is getting invoked because of scheduler okay so you can what do you say it's a job right so you can disable it or enable it so as it is already in the disabled state okay I have enabled it now in the logs we should be able to see the uh, yeah let me go through the logs now in the logs we should be able to see the uh, yeah this payload JSON payload for every 10 seconds okay so yeah we could see this right this is what so you know like we can even disable this yeah three times it has printed the JSON payload okay which is a static one and uh, from this transfer message we are setting this thing as a payload and that is what is getting printed because of this logger okay yeah so now let me disable this scheduler okay so update was successful now you, you know like um, it will not show any further logs because though it is up and running this application is not getting invoked because we have disabled the scheduler okay yeah so you see uh, we are not seeing any um, logger values once we disable this right we, we are not seeing any further uh, logs okay so this is how you can even enable and disable the schedule schedulers okay yeah so if you click on run now so what happens it will only run for that moment see uh, this is at 318 30 seconds 30 second and you see whenever I have clicked on run run now uh, it has ex it has invoked that flow only for that particular moment if I click on run now once again yeah now you'll, you'll see one more log see 319.39 right 319.13 yeah so 
yeah this is how you can disable enable and you can uh, run the scheduler for that for an for any particular moment okay yeah so now let us see some scenario where uh, that the deployment will fail even locally as well so i'm just making uh, it as syntactically wrong so that what happens even if if i deploy this locally it should fail okay so if it is failing locally that means when, whenever we deploy to cloud hub also it should fail at the time of deployment itself right so that is what uh, we'll see now yeah yeah you see here uh, the deployment uh, has failed locally okay let me clear this log now let us try to deploy this particular application where uh, uh, we have uh, nothing or uh, it's a i mean this will result into an issue when when we deploy this particular application to cloud hub okay so let me again go to any point platform deploy to cloud hub i'll pause the video for a moment okay you know like uh, we are deploying with the same name actually okay yeah so with the same name you you know like we, we are getting this option right overwrite existing application okay so let me click on deploy application and let me pause the video for a moment yes guys if you see here yeah so the deployment has failed okay so yeah that is the reason you could see here uh, the symbol is in this color instead of uh, uh, green okay so update failed if you go back to the applications okay so you see the date modified as uh, 321 okay so that means this deployment has failed okay and you see we should be getting one more email yeah so we got yeah we got it at 3:28 a.m. only yeah only uh, but I didn't refresh it or something like that okay fine now yeah this is how uh, you will get an email alert um, when any of the applications uh, deployment uh, was failed okay so it has given the link uh, I mean where you can simply by just clicking on this link you can go to the runtime manager if you are already logged in okay if not you will be uh, routed to the login page okay so this is how uh, you can directly go to the runtime manager and, and check the logs why it failed and all okay so yeah so this is the default description and also we, you could see the app application name okay yeah so they're suggesting uh, if anything is uh, a kind of uh, maintenance from mule soft and itself okay so if everything is good then uh, they're suggesting some waste in this description yeah so this is how we'll we'll get the uh, email alerts when when the deployment of uh, your application has failed okay so here it is like the CVRT is critical previously the CVRT is info that is what we could see here and it is like deployment failed and deployment success that is what we are getting from the default uh, uh, subject okay so he it is deep deployment success here go back uh, check in deployment failed yeah so the subject is CVRT colon deployment failed if it is a licensed account you can edit these things subject as well as this message okay body of that message yeah so this is all about this session okay just practice it okay this is like fun to create actually yeah uh, i hope you like this video if you like it please subscribe and share in your network thank you so much for listening to my video thank you